Hi everyone. Here we learn the story Three Skeleton. This is written by George G. Chowdhury. The story is about the lighthouse and around the lighthouse. The narrator is explaining the story to us. The narrator who lived and worked on the newly built lighthouse. Once, a young man who was living on the coast of Guyana, which is 20 miles away from the land. They had built a newly lighthouse and they were seeking workers to work on that particular lighthouse. And they are paying much high salary. And this young fellow, that is the narrator, who liked to work on that lighthouse because of high pay. And that time he was a bachelor, he didn't marry. So to save for his future marriage life, he wanted to take up the job. So he wa wanted to uh, go to the lighthouse and he worked there. And that uh, experience is going to share in the story, Three Skeleton Key. Okay. And uh, around that lighthouse, we can see some rocks, small rocks which was very slippery and tides were there and sometimes sharks and fishes were also can be seen on the rocks. And the sea, uh, yes, it is filled with reefs. Okay. And there are, there are many stories around that lighthouse, like uh, once three convicts who stolen some properties and wanted to run away from the place. They, that time the three were uh, stayed on the rocks and they were died because of hunger and thirst. Like that many stories were there around the lighthouse and the rocks. This narrator also uh, well known about the stories but he wanted to take up the job because of money so he went. He worked there and he was explaining or narrating the story to us in this three skeleton key. And what about the lighthouse? It's 20,000 candle power we can see or get from that lighthouse. On the top of the lighthouse, we can see the whole city and it can be seen like a thread like it's a single line. Like that's very beautiful view. And this fellow, the narrator, got job satisfaction. And after uh, he worked 22 months, he got shore leave. So he returned to his native place, hometown. And again, he returned to the job. So that time, it's what, it was a mid-winter in of the month of June. The narrator returned from his leave, the mid-winter, that is the end of the June month. That time, two other fellow members were also joined along with the narrator. Uh, one... Her name is Lee Leo and the other one is Ichowa. He was the head keeper and he was taking a night duty. So the whole night he was awake and looking around the lighthouse, the ships and the narrator. So three, uh, these three fellow were working together uh, on that lighthouse. One is Lee Leo, second one Ichowa. He was head keeper and he is taking care of the night duty and the narrator. We do, couldn't know the name of the narrator. So the life where life was very good. They were enjoying the lighthouse job. One day the narrator found the ship and the ship uh, is nothing but a cargo ship. It can be 4,000 tons and they understood it was a Dutch ship. And Lee Leo cried out uh, by saying like, what's wrong with her crew? All, they all drunk or insane, which means they have seen the ship, but no crew members can be found on that ship. Nobody was there. So Lee Leo cried, uh, what happened to that ship? Something wrong on that ship. Because no crew members can be found, where were they? So there were many questions around the uh, abandoned ship. They were talking or discussing about the ship. Where were they? 
why did they leave the ship might be a fire accident or they abandoned the ship or what happened so what's the thing what was happening on the ship like that they were discussing many questions about the, the ship league you waved to the ship but no response received uh, then next four hours the ship was moving here and there like zigzag movement sometimes moving forward moving backward sometimes moving slowly and sometimes it has stopped so again they just looked what was happening on the ship they can see that uh, is the ship was in white color and it was a dutch ship which means uh, it uh, might be a rich ship belong to a rich person might be it was a white color background and the letters were in black letter black color like cornelius de witt rotterdam it was written on the ship with black letters they understood that it was a dutch ship and is obviously a rich uh, person ship and now the ship was very close to the lighthouse yes she here is the ship okay the ship was very close uh, near to the lighthouse uh, lee glio cried again Uh, the ship he said that she is gone we are helpless yes the ship is going to sink now it is going to get broken okay the ship is going to break into two and it is going to sink and they are going to see these three fellows are uh, going to see that yes the narrator replied yes we could not do anything but we have to watch that so all cried together all cried the three fellows cried or shouted like the rats is yes. no one was there on that ship but the rats they were talking about the rats the rats sea rats were very large were very strong very intelligent and it takes revenge and it was very wise okay and these rats will turn humans and they eat flesh of humans okay and these rats origin is holland and they were calling like the rats of holland so because of these rats no crew members can be found on the dutch ship because it was they were eaten by these rats all the crew members were eaten by these rats and only those rats were there in the ship and the ship is going to sink now yes then what happened by seeing uh, the rats lee glio started to share his experience to his lee glio started to share his experiences to his fellow members uh, once a dutch captain was sailing the sea and he took some cargoes for that he took two turners also that's a breed of dogs which was trained particularly to hunt or to fight or to kill rats the ship was sailing from rotterdam that time the cats were attacked the ship dutch captain sent two dogs to kill the rats but the dogs never come back the dogs didn't come back because the rats were eaten those dogs and then the rats were eaten all the cargoes at last the rats were eaten the dutch captain too but still they feel hungry this uh, food is not at all sufficient for the rats so this was a story he shared with his fellow members to say how terrible these rats are Uh, when they were discussing these things the ship the dutch ship is split into two and it sank like a stone but the rats were very clever the rats jumped into the sea and the heads were lifted and the rats uh, felt the smell of human beings so the rats were coming very fast 
to the lighthouse to eat the human beings. So all the rats were coming towards the lighthouse now, very fast. Okay, see here thousands and thousands of rats were there on that ship. So all jumped into the sea and just coming very fast to reach the lighthouse to eat the human beings. Because they were starving for many weeks. So they have to eat these three fellows. Immediately the three fellows uh, understand the importance of safety. Immediately they just went into a room and shut all the doors and windows tightly. These three, these rats were running madly around the glass doors and windows and looked to, through the uh, uh, windows and doors. And here the sharks and other fishes were also come to eat the rats. Uh, fishes and sharks just open the mouth and just grabbing the uh, rats. But still the rats number is not at all coming down. Okay, because that much rats were there in the uh, ship. So here these three fellows uh, closed all the doors, windows very tightly and they wanted to save them. The first night that day, okay, the first night they didn't sleep because of uh, panic, okay, uh, afraid of fear of those rats, they didn't sleep, they couldn't sleep, okay. They were uh, looking what was the rats are doing, okay. The second day, the three fellows became calm and quiet. And the fourth day, it was very difficult for them to live on that particular small closed room. So each of us said, the supply boat uh, came uh, 13 days ago, so they will come after 29 days. So it's very difficult for us to save ourselves for these days. Okay, so that time Lee Glio uh, told, we have to change the name boat. So already we had a story like three skeleton, right? So the uh, three skeleton name boat was there on that lighthouse. Now Lee Glio told to the other fellow members, we have to change into six skeleton key because we three are going to uh, die in the hands of rat. So we have to change the name board like that Lee Glio uh, saying to his fellow members. And they have to spend six days and seven nights. Uh, okay, they have to, these rats. Even though ships, uh, sharks and fishes were eating the rats, the count is not coming less. It is growing. To pass the time, these three fellow members, to pass their time, they just count the rats. They gave names to the rats on their size, color, shape. They are giving names to the rats. And they were given a name like Nero for a particular rat. They gave a name like Nero. They like that they were doing some kind of things to refresh themselves but still they were struggling to get fresh air to breathe and now uh, they can feel the foul smell of rats as yes, it was spread everywhere and food shortage they couldn't eat uh, enough food they couldn't sleep properly and they had mental stress so all these things made them shattered they were disturbed now and Lee Leo got nightmares often. He had nightmares often. And uh, side, on the other side, these rats grated the wooden doors and trying to enter the room. It was keep on trying uh, to make a hole on the wooden doors. At last the rats succeeded. Yes, the rats attacked. Uh, these three fellow members terribly okay because they had hunger also and they were waiting for many long days so they grated a hole in the wooden doors entered into the room and started to attack bite these three fellows it also is screaming shouting and doing all these things these three fellow members got uh, injured and bleeding and they had pain 
okay but still they killed uh, the rats which entered inside the room with their knives and throw into the sea again they just sealed all the uh, holes tightly uh, and they want to be safe but still they were panicked now they lost control they don't have that physical strength and mental strength particularly Lee Leo mentally got disturbed and he was talking to himself he was talking and laughing uh, to himself narrator and Uchova couldn't control or pacify Lee Leo he couldn't uh, listen to those words he always saying only one uh, sentence that is six skeletons six skeletons and we are six skeletons so like that he got mentally disturbed when he was uh, shouting like that so crying like that immediately he got an idea and he told to whichever and the narrator like this night we should not uh, put on the light we should not do that okay we should not light the lamp this night because we have to communicate to the shore members or coastal girls we have to do it today like that he took a decision and others agreed so that night they didn't uh, put on the light yes the officers found something is wrong inside the light or something is wrong so and then they understood and they just immediately took a boat maybe uh, midnight they took a boat and just coming near to the lighthouse when they were coming near to the lighthouse they understood that rats were filled in the lighthouse so they just stopped the boat and trying to return because they have to save save their life right so they wanted to return immediately Ichova lit the light quickly to give a signal that they were alive yes uh, these members also understood yes they were alive and they made an announcement that please be wait we'll come back as soon as possible uh, till the, till that please have a hope and stay alive like that they made an announcement and they return the coastal members uh, coastal gods uh, came back at noon with a fire boat yes they uh, took a barge which was filled with fresh meat okay and they stopped the barge quite a long distance or away from the lighthouse with that uh, fresh smell fresh meat smell okay these rats uh, were jumping and moving very fast towards the barge okay so once all the rats reached the barge these coastal guards fired the boat okay fired the boat and then they came to the lighthouse and saved these three members narrator Ligliu and Ichowa they saved three, uh, these three his leg in you uh, was recovered but he became insane so he sent to asylum uh, Ichowa died uh, within a week because of infection he couldn't survive and the narrator recovered after a month and again he came to the particular lighthouse to serve okay, okay. so this is the way the story ends they say at last these three fellow members saved but uh, they couldn't live particularly leave leo uh, yes he became mad insane and he he had to he had to put an asylum and Ichowa died uh, because of infection, uh, rat infection and then narrator recovered after a month. Okay. Uh, after once he recovered, yes, he again uh, wanted to take up the job in the same uh, lighthouse. So from this we have to understand that whatever happens in our life, we should be very strong, particularly mental strength is very very important we should always have uh, strength to fight against any kind of uh, situation okay. so once the mental strength uh, is there always we can live um, happily and we can fight against any kind of situation so that's uh, i think this is the 
uh, line we have to understand from this story okay so all the three had underwent the same situation but the result the consequence are uh, different yes one got mad and one got one died and one recovered so it is the hands of a particular individual how we are reacting to the problems that is very very important most important i can say so always think and have that mental strength that's very very essential so we have to uh, concentrate and develop our inner strength to live in this world happily i hope you enjoyed the story uh, thank you everyone thank you so much